welcome to this video on how to compile and run a Java program. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to be looking at how you convert an ordinary Java program written in something that looks like English into a version that your computer will understand. That process is called compiling and having compiled the program you can then run it. This video expands on the video that went before this on how to use basic operating system commands. If you're not sure how these operating system commands work then I suggest you watch that video first. Now let's get into some work. Here I have three relatively simple Java programs. Hello, Hello Error and Hello Name. And I'm going to be using these programs to create some quite interesting little effects let's start at the beginning this is the hello class program all it does is put the words hello world on the screen and this is the program that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to compile and run I'm then going to use the other programs to show you what happens if you have an error and how you use this string args in your program itself now let's have a look at this again. The first thing I need to do is to open up another Explorer window and here I'm going to have to find the Java bin directory. On my computer I go to the C drive then to program files. In program files there's a Java directory. If I go into the Java directory and then the JDK whatever, so in my case JDK 1.7.0 underscore 07, I get to the bin directory and this is the one that I really want. This bin directory holds the two programs that I need, Java Exe and Java Exe. Make sure you have both of those in the directory. Now what we're going to do is to use this path in a special little bit of the operating system called the path command. So I'm going to click on the taskbar at the top here and hold control and C. That copies this string into memory. Now I can change the path command. This is going to get a little bit technical. I right click on computer and click on properties. That opens up this control panel window. The one I'm interested in is the final one, Advanced System Settings. I click on that and there are all sorts of things. Make sure that you have the Advanced tab open. In there at the bottom you have the Environment Variables button. Click on that. And that brings up these Environment Variables. I'm not interested in the other things but path is the one that I want. Make sure path is selected and then click on edit. That brings up the current path command. Path commands should end in a semicolon so if there isn't a semicolon at the end of your path command at the moment put the semicolon in. Then control and V to paste and just to be sure that you're a good programmer you put that final semicolon in. Okay, What this does is it means that when the program meets something, a command it doesn't understand it checks all these subdirectories to see if that command is in that subdirectory. So it's not a good idea to have lots of these path variables. It's not good at all. It'll slow your computer down. But where you have a very specialist need, as we do in this case, for compiling and running, then it makes sense. So having put that string in, I type in OK, hit the OK button down here, and then hit OK yet again. We're now ready to compile and run a Java program. And for that, we need to go to the command prompt. Now if you're using uh, ordinary windows you'll find that in 
Accessories, Command Prompt. And here we have the Command Prompt window. Now I'm just going to flick back to the demo directory here so that I can show you what's happening. This is in the K Java demo. It's on my flash drive. So the first thing I need to do is to go to the K drive and from there I need to change directory to Java demo. You'll notice that I'm doing this in lower case even though the names have upper case. Unfortunately that only works with CD. Some of the other stuff we're going to need to have the casing absolutely correct. The first thing we need to do is to turn Hello Java into a program that the computer will understand. So to do this we have Java compile Javac space and then the name of the program, and now I'm using the correct casing, .java. So we want to compile Hello Java. If I press enter now, it appears as if nothing's happened. But you'll notice in the directory listing above, I now have a Hello class. Let's see if this has worked. That Hello class is now written in a pretend machine code, the compiler type stuff that we talked about in the previous video. So let's see if it runs. We now type in Java space and hello but without the dot Java. No dot Java, no dot class. Just Java space and then the name of the program. There it says, hello world, our program worked. It's great. But now, what happens if things don't go quite right? Well, I'm going to do Javac space, and I have this program called hello error. And this will compile, except that it won't bother. Now, why doesn't it do that? Well, you'll see that I've left a bracket out. If I go back here and go to Hello Java, you can see I've intentionally left out the bracket at the back here. If you get a problem with your Java program, so if something goes wrong, it will tell you what to do. So, Hello Error Java, line 4, and then it will give you some idea of what it expects and where it expects it. So it's expecting that closing bracket at the end of Hello World. If I add that back in, so there's my Hello World correct now, save it, come back here and let me tell you a little trick. If you use the up arrow, you get the previous command, so you don't have to type it in again. So now I type in hello error.java and now Java hello error no.java and it's worked. Everything is going swimmingly. We've found an error, corrected it, and made sure that the whole thing compiles properly. Now I'm going to move on to the third and final program. This program uses the args, and in here it takes in two strings from args. I'm going to show you that, and it calls the first string first name, and the second string last name, and then prints out a hello and the name. So let's see if this works first of all. So that's Javac space hello name dot Java and press enter. That's compiled. You'll see a hello name dot class if you go back to the directory listing. Now let's try this out. Java space 
hello name. But now I'm going to add my name after it. So, Andy Wicks. And what it says is, hello Andy Wicks, which is very nice of it, and I like it too. But there's a problem. What happens if I don't type in the Wicks bit? Supposing I only send in one argument, not the two the program is expecting. What happens then? Well, it tells me that there's an error. Array exceptions out of bounds in line 5. Line 5 is the bit that's asking for last name. It hasn't got this second string. We're going to see what happens if I have too many arguments. So I type in Java hello name Andy Wix is silly. So that's four arguments it's got, not the two. Unsurprisingly, that has worked. Because our program doesn't reference any of the other arguments, it has the ones it needs, so it's going to work. You're now in a state where you can compile and run a Java program. In the next video, we're going to look at how to make that something that you can give to a user.